needs our help here right now because she sees it unfolding in front of her that her in-laws may be breaking up because Jason Momoa has entered the chat and has been chatting with her mother-in-law, mm. quote unquote. Hey, Eve, good morning. You're on the Burt Show. Hi. Hi, good morning. So Jason Momoa is the problem, huh? Apparently. <laughs> What's going on? Um, so my mother-in-law uh, actually did file for divorce this year. She was married for over 40 years. And when Jason Momoa came in the picture, or not really the picture, but just messaging, um, they fell in love and she filed for divorce. Oh wow. Wait, this is all um, happening. Hold on. This is happening so fast. So, yeah. <laughs> Jason Momoa, in quotations. Right. Is mm-hmm. Facebooking like is Facebook messaging her mother in law, and she fell in love with him and divorced her husband of forty years. You're kidding me! And she really thinks that that's Jason Momoa. Yes. No matter how much my husband and I try to tell her otherwise, she is dead set on it. Now, she thought she was dating Vin Diesel first. <laughs> oh but, wow! She's going oh, through. She's going through Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> So wait a second. There had to be before we even dive into this more. There had to be more problems in this marriage than just Jason Momoa hitting her up on Facebook. Well, I mean, my father-in-law could not have been easy to live with. I can, <laughs> I couldn't have lived with him. Okay. But you know, that's another thing. But just to drop somebody after forty years, yeah, for someone you've never even met in person, it's just. It's just crazy. Sure. Okay. So they're they're divorced now because of, of quote unquote Jason Momoa. Yes, but her her hus- her ex husband now has no idea why she filed for divorce. So he, like does- he has no idea about this relationship. Okay. Whatever it is. Mm-hmm. All right. So Jason uh, Momoa f- facebooks her. They fall in love. They she's now gotten a divorce, and now he's taking her. I'm assuming for a significant amount of cash. Yes. So she did a quick divorce and agreed to twenty thousand in the divorce. Um, he was able to, or she gave him access to her account. Oh my god! Yes, he told her he needed eight thousand dollars to fix his private jet. Okay. She sent him eight thousand dollars. <gasps> what? And then he started sending her cash through the mail to deposit into their joint Bitcoin account. So I think he sent her a total of like sixteen thousand dollars, and then he has spent her whole twenty thousand in divorce. She's still living in the house with her ex husband, but he's now given her a deadline to get out. But she has no money because she's given it all and to he, Jason Momoa. And get this exactly. Last night I'm talking to Eve, and he's spent her twenty thousand dollars plus. The 16, he's smart. He gives her cash, but he ends up spending the cash. So on top of the 20, he spent that 16 as well. So he's like playing human roulette where he's getting two to one playing this woman. Um, your mother-in-law is uh, roughly how old? Um, Late 60s. Late 60s? Yes. I, I, well, so what can we do to help here? I mean, it, it, she, I, I mean, it, it seems... I don't even know what questions to ask because it seems so outrageous that anybody would ever believe that this could be a real story. It happens all the time. I mean, it really does happen all the time and it's sad and like, yeah, you can you can joke about it. But at the same time, like they're preying on older people and it's I you would think law enforcement could get involved in some capacity. But I, I don't know what the charge is there. It's still the wild, wild west out there when it comes to this kind mm-hmm. of thing, you know? I feel like the only thing okay. you could do to help is to actually prove to her that it's not him. Yeah. And I don't know how you do that. We get we get in touch with Jason Momoa. Himself. <laughs> right. And say, hey, hey, this is the real Jason Momoa. Stop giving fake Jason Momoa money. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I wonder if we could do that. Wait, I that's, we try. that's actually really smart. He yeah. actually seems like a really, really nice guy. I don't, like, if we send him messages, though, I think he'd probably think it was a joke. I do know somebody that knows him. Really? My, fa- my friend, uh, Fortune Feimster, <laughs> no lie, she was driving through the desert, I think it was in California, and there's this buff guy with long hair broken down on the side of the road. It was Jason Momoa. What? And she saved him on the side of the road. So they know, and she's in Hollywood, she knows he, 
she knows him. I could send her a message and see, hey, can you get this message to him? Seriously, you should try. Yes. Picking up a hot, sweaty, dirty Jason Momoa on the side <laughs> of the road sounds like the dream I had last night. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so give us 24 hours here, Eve. I didn't know this part uh, of the connection that Tommy might have with Jason Momoa, but that might... That would be pretty random if we could actually get him to make the call and say, hey, I know you might feel a little silly here, but this is the real Jason Momoa, and I don't need your cash. <laughs> She'll still think she was dating Vin Diesel, though. <laughs> 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 What's that, Eve? That would probably be the only way to convince her because I have tried everything. I've sent her Reddit like links yeah. showing where everybody has been scammed by the same name. And she's just like, oh, those people are so naive. And I'm like, oh. Oh, oh wow. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> All right, we're going in. <laughs> Tommy, <laughs> you got a homework assignment. Talk to your friends. See if she can somehow, some way link us up. I'm with- on it. Okay, thank you. All right, Eve, we'll talk to you tomorrow, okay? All right, thanks so much, you guys. The Bird Show.